Thank you for subscribing to this channel. This is a reading part C practice video. The correct answer is D. More understanding is needed to overcome it. In the fifth paragraph, Dr. Charles Penn emphasizes that a key factor contributing to antibiotic resistance is the poor understanding of the differences between bacteria, viruses, and other pathogens, as well as the value of antibiotics. He also mentions that misconceptions about antibiotics are perpetuated by marketing and advertising campaigns that use generic terms like germs and bugs. Dr. Penn's viewpoint suggests that increasing understanding among both healthcare professionals and the general public about when antibiotics are appropriate and effective is crucial to addressing antibiotic resistance. Now, let's examine why the other options are incorrect. A. Increasing their cost would deter overuse. This option is not supported by Dr. Charles Penn's statement. He doesn't mention increasing the cost of antibiotics as a solution to antibiotic resistance. Instead, he focuses on the need for better understanding. B. The general public should be held responsible. While Dr. Penn discusses misconceptions among the general public regarding antibiotic use, he does not explicitly state that the general public should be held responsible for antibiotic resistance. His emphasis is on the need for improved understanding. C. Mass media plays a crucial role in its demand. Dr. Penn does mention the role of marketing and advertising campaigns in perpetuating misconceptions, but he doesn't suggest that mass media alone is responsible for antibiotic resistance. Again, his primary point is the need for better understanding. Let's look at the next question.
The correct answer is B. Justify the need to change our habits. In the sixth paragraph, Dr. Penn provides examples of our dependence on antibiotics to illustrate the importance of changing our habits regarding antibiotic use. He mentions various medical procedures and conditions where antibiotics are crucial, such as surgery, cancer treatment, intensive care, and more. By highlighting these examples, he is emphasizing that over-reliance on antibiotics for various medical benefits has contributed to drug resistance. His intent is to underscore the need for a change in our habits and practices regarding antibiotic use to combat antibiotic resistance effectively. Now, let's examine why the other options are incorrect. A. Stress that substitute medications are needed. Dr. Penn's statement does not explicitly stress the need for substitute medications but rather focuses on the importance of changing our antibiotic use habits. He mentions situations where antibiotics are currently essential. C. Show that it's too late to reverse the damage. Dr. Penn's statement does not suggest that it's too late to reverse the damage caused by antibiotic resistance. Instead, he is emphasizing the need for change and preventive measures. D. Highlight our lack of appreciation for current treatments. While Dr. Penn does mention that we now take for granted that many infections are treatable with antibiotics, his primary focus is on the need for changing our habits and practices regarding antibiotic use. The aim is not to highlight a lack of appreciation but rather to stress the urgency of addressing antibiotic resistance. Let's look at the next question. The correct answer is C. Once believed there was an endless supply of antibiotics. In the final paragraph, Dr. Penn highlights that in the past, medical practitioners, physicians or prescribers, became somewhat complacent about preserving the effectiveness of antibiotics because they believed that new antibiotics would always be available. This suggests that they once held the belief that there was an endless supply of antibiotics. However, Dr. Penn also notes that the pipeline for discovering new antibiotics has diminished in the past 30 years and has now run dry, which means that the assumption of an endless supply is no longer valid. Option C accurately reflects Dr. Penn's point in the paragraph. The other options do not fully capture the essence of his statement. A. Have depleted the supply of antibiotics through overuse. While antibiotic overuse is a concern, the paragraph primarily discusses the past belief in an endless supply of antibiotics, not their depletion through overuse. B. We're reluctant to take advice regarding antibiotics. 
The paragraph does not mention reluctance to take advice but rather focuses on the belief in the availability of new antibiotics. D. Are yet to understand the damage caused by their actions. The paragraph does not suggest that medical practitioners do not understand the damage caused by their actions. It discusses a shift in awareness and practices regarding antibiotic stewardship. Let's look at the next question. Option A, prescribers being attentive to the problem, is correct because the phrase, heeding the warning, means that medical practitioners are now paying attention to and taking seriously the warnings and concerns about antibiotic resistance. This phrase indicates that they are actively addressing the problem by being more attentive and cautious when prescribing antibiotics. It signifies a positive change in their behavior in response to the warnings. Now, let's discuss why the other options are incorrect. B. Doctors now issuing warnings to patients. This option suggests that doctors are now warning patients about antibiotic resistance, but the paragraph does not indicate that doctors are issuing warnings to patients in this context. Instead, it focuses on doctors becoming more vigilant themselves. C. The medical community regretting their carelessness. The paragraph does not explicitly mention regret or carelessness on the part of the medical community. It discusses a change in behavior from complacency to vigilance but does not suggest that the medical community regrets their past actions. D. Practitioners looking ahead to a brighter future. While the paragraph does indicate a positive change in practitioners' behavior regarding antibiotic prescribing, it does not imply that they are specifically looking ahead to a brighter future. It emphasizes their response to the urgency of the problem and their commitment to careful stewardship of existing antibiotics.